Good morning. Welcome to this Saturday morning with Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. So glad you're able to join Tom and I and starting our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Go back, O child of earth, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past and like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream, and we fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes, in the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The span of our life is seventy years, perhaps in strength even eighty. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us with your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Make us glad by the measure of our days that you afflict us and the years in which we suffered adversity. Show your, servant, your servants your work and your splendor to your children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands and prosper our handiwork. Let us pray. Eternal Father of our mortal race, in Jesus Christ your grace has come upon us. For his sake prosper the work of our hands until we return to gladden our hearts forever. Amen. Well, we continue in our story here in, uh, in Isaiah, in chapter 4, <coughs> excuse me, beginning with verse 2. Mm. Uh, in that day the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and the joy of the survivors of Israel. And he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy, every one who has been re uh, recorded for life in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstain of Jerusalem from its midst by the spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning, then the Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud by day and smoke and shining and flaming fire by night. For over all the glory there will be a canopy and a pavilion. It will be for a shade by day from the heat and for a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And our second reading comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning with verse 13. But we would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those, uh, precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven, who with a cry of command, with the archangels call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise up. Then we who are alive, who are left, 
shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But But now now in these last days, he has spoken to us by by his son. son. Fear Fear not, Mary, you you have found found favor with the Lord. Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Now let us pray. God, our Father, you loved the world so much you gave your only son to free us from the ancient power of sin and death. Help us who wait for his coming and lead us to true liberty. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Oh, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Saturday morning. And I hope you have a great, safe and blessed day. Uh, Pastor Matthew will be on this evening, the evening prayer, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. And our regular worship service will be on. Pastor Matthew and Morgan are out of quarantine and doing very well. And so we're back to our regular worship, uh, uh, our Sunday worship service. So hope you'll be able to join us then. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.